Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Ietinde Adeyemi. I have been a cabin crew since the year 2007. I have over five years experience as a commercial cabin crew and I am currently a VIP cabin crew. Um, today's topic, we are going to be talking about can you be 35 and still apply for the cabin crew job? A lot of times people ask me that, especially at this time that um, airlines are not hiring and so they are, they are wondering if they will still hire them because at the time, maybe after two, a year or two before when they start hiring, you're wondering if because of your age, the airline will still hire you. So if that resonates with you, stay tuned and watch till the end. Okay, so let me actually be very real with you. When I started my cabin crew career, I was 24 years old. But even before I got my cabin crew job, I have always wanted to be a cabin crew and I've always known what it is that I wanted to be. And so I was quite young when I started my cabin crew um, career. Right now, as I'm talking to you, I am 38 years old. And I know that if I apply to any airline, Emirates, Qatar, or Etihad, I know that they will take me, even at the fact that I am over 35. And do you know the reason why? The reason is because of the way I carry myself. If I told you that I'm 38, but I'm very sure that you will not even believe that I'm 38 because I do not look my age. Let me give some examples. If you look at um, someone like Jennifer Lopez, Jennifer Lopez is 50 and she does not look her age. So most times the issue is not that they don't want to recruit people that are over 35. The issue is that when you meet people that are over 35, they tend to carry themselves like as if they are old. Some of them look like a grandma. Some of them, <coughs> excuse me. Some of them don't carry themselves with so much um, confidence. Even if you already have two or three kids, it doesn't really matter. It all matters in your demeanor. It matters in the way you carry yourself, in the way you present yourself. It's, that is the reason why, I mean, if you meet someone who is um, 24 and you meet someone who is 35, if that person is, um, the, if the 35-year-old is the kind of person that carries herself well, takes good care of herself, um, does uh, hello, a whole lot of exercise, takes good care of her skin and has a positive mentality about life, you might not be able to tell the difference between the both of them. Even there are some 24-year-olds that look 35. The thing is, you need to look very good. You need to look extremely good. You need to know how to take good care of yourself. People should not be able to detect your age when they see you. That is the goal here. Because when you go to the requirements of these airlines, they tell you that the minimum age is 21 years. There's no maximum age. There is no maximum age. The minimum age is 21 years. And even if people tell you that during their training, the, um, the highest, the oldest person in their class was like 28, that does not mean, that does not mean they do not take people that are over 30. Because sometimes, some people, maybe when they start having kids and having family, they don't want to be, they, some people decide that they don't, this cabin crew job is no more for them. Most times, the people between the ages of maybe 23 and, um, and uh, 24, 25 are always more driven for the cabin crew job. It's be, the lifestyle doesn't suit everyone. So, please think that because you are over 35 or because you're over 30 that they will not take you no all I'm going to tell you is make sure you do not look your age make sure you do not look like a grandma and how do you do that Eat healthy food Eat eat well stop putting in junk foods into your system drink a whole lot of water at least try as much as possible to drink six glasses of water in a day walk out do um, physical exercise like maybe three times a week or two times a week. Take good care of yourself and more than anything, be very positive about life. Let me tell you, your mind has a lot to do with your outside. If you are always thinking that the whole world has come to an end and things are not okay and things are this and that, most times it's going to start to reflect on your skin. So what, what are the three things I told you? The first thing is eat healthy eat healthy try as much as possible not to take 
too much of soda. In fact, don't even take soda at all. Exercise, very important. Two or three times a week. You can take, take long walks. You don't have to go to a gym. You don't have to do a gym membership. You can always use your area or even use your house as an exercise. I have a video where I put out my workout routine. If you click on the link below or if you go to my YouTube channel, you will see my workout routine. Where I did my workout routine is in my house. I don't go to the gym. <laughs> Although whenever I lodge in hotels, I also use the gym of the hotels because I love taking good care of myself. The th um, third one, have a positive attitude to life. Have a positive mentality to life. It's not so much about the fact that they're not going to recruit you because you're over 35. The issue is that the way you look because these airlines, they have, they, they have the way they want their cabin crews to look. And if you look at all the cabin crews for Emirates, Qatar, Etihad, you do not see them looking like a grandma. So please, change the way you look. It all has to do <laughs> with how you carry yourself. So I do not believe that these airlines don't take people from over 30 or over 35. To me, I feel that it's the way you carry yourself. Even before I got this private jet job, they told me also that uh, once you are going to clock 30, they are not going to take you. In fact, the, uh, the private jet I work for, I remember when they put out their post, they said they wanted um, someone who was uh, between the ages of 25 and 30. At that time, I was um, 36 already and I applied and they took me. Yes, because I don't even look my age. If I tell you I have two children, I have been married for the past 12 years, and all that, you are not going to believe it because people that you see that are my age most times always look like a grandma. So I hope you have gained something from my video today. Make sure you take that chance on yourself. If you are over 35, don't worry. Send in your application. Make sure you look good. Make sure... You do your hair or <laughs> you invest in a very quality wig, invest in very fantastic office, um, office clothes, preferably conservative colors. Invest in quality things, okay? Make sure you send in your application, all right? And work on your skills. Those are the number one things that they look at because you might look so, so, so good and if you do not have the skills, the character, the attitude, you're not going to get the job. Number one is skills, even before good looks, but good looks is very important. So, don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel, watch my other videos. This is not the only video I have. I have so many videos, so click on the link to watch or go to my YouTube channel and watch all the videos I have. Thank you for watching. My name is Iyetunde Adeyemi.